You merely adopted the dog. I was born in it. <laughs> What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. Listen, bro. I've been on TikTok. Can you tell? <laughs> That's like one of the main TikToks. Like, I was already a fan of that Batman clip, man. That was like one of my favorite Batmans, bro. But when they started posting it all over TikTok, bro, it just made me like it even more. Every time I see it, it don't even matter what somebody doing with that snippet. I stop and just listen to it. Because that, that whole scene just gets you hype. It get me hype. But um, listen, man, we're going to get into the video today, man. Haunting dash cam footage may show ghosts plus other scary clips. All right. So if you knew, we're going to get into this, man. Make sure your house is secure. Make sure the windows and doors is locked. Lights is dim. Set the mood. Hit that like button. Don't be disrespectful to me, bro. Hit the like button and subscribe. Y'all be being disrespectful sometimes. All right. Hit the button and uh, let's check this out. Here we go. Oh! How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slap Ham. Today we're looking at some scary videos no one can quite explain. You know it's gonna be crazy when the intro do you, like the intro had my face going all kind of crazy. You know it's about to be crazy. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. It's like this. He gonna do that one day and it's gonna be like the craziest crick in his neck. He gonna do that and he ain't gonna be able to move. He gonna be stuck like, <laughs> my bad y'all. I'm, 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 Feeling it today, I don't know. What are we looking In early 2018, YouTuber DutchFly61 uploaded some footage they had captured comparing various flying objects in the night sky. On a crisp cool <laughs> night in February, after a long period of cloudy weather, the OP set up their Panasonic HC V270 to film the night sky. They mounted a military-grade Gen 3 PVS-14 monocular night vision lens onto the camera. And Did anybody understand any of those words he just uttered out? Hold on, let me go back. It made me feel like I had to go back to school. Sonic HC V270 to film the night sky. They mounted a military-grade Gen 3 PVS-14 monocular night vision lens onto the camera and Dang. pointed it towards the sky. What they captured is quite astounding. First, we can see a flock of birds. That high up? Sheesh. Where are birds going that time of night? It's thought hours and thotty birds. There goes some more. Or are those birds? We sure? Then some satellites. Hmm. A commercial aircraft. Now this next object is a little harder to explain. What at that speed? The plane wasn't even going that fast, and planes, to my knowledge, go pretty fast up there. Look how fast this thing is moving, bro. Jack is a little harder to explain. What the f... That's covering ground. And what can change directions like that? As you can see, a small dot zooms through the sky at speed. It pulls up and changes direction with ease. 
Bro, that's not a normal change of direction. That's not normal. There are no known aircraft that can pull off such high speed maneuvers. That's what I was thinking. And I know the least amount about these aircrafts. Never been in the military, never been fighter power, none of that type of stuff like that. But just based on a little bit of information and knowledge, bro, making that type of a pivot move, that's nearly impossible. You know what I mean? That's not impossible, but it's, it, it, you, you're not pulling off that type of, of change direction like that, bro. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Boom. It's like it just, boom. Like, how? Satellites, slow. That is different. That's different. And then it just disappeared. That's crazy. The, the Shanley Hotel. Oh, I didn't know the thing was muted, bro. <laughs> He might have been talking. Hold on, let me back it up. I hit the mute button by mistake. My bad, y'all. <laughs> Make sure he wasn't talking. All right, he wasn't talking. All right, I was about to say. The Shanley Hotel is an infamous establishment that dates back to 1845. The once thriving bordello sits among the quiet streets of Napanock, New York. It's now a tourist attraction and a major draw card for paranormal investigators. Over the decades, tragedy has struck the infamous hotel, so much so that many people believe the premises is deeply haunted by several spirits. It Guests like staying that. in the bed and breakfast claim they've seen a woman in period clothing walking upstairs, but when they go to look for her, there's no one around. A heavy scented perfume has also filled the rooms without reason. Many believe the sweet-smelling lady in period attire is Mrs. Shanley herself, the wife of one of the former owners of the property. Many other visitors claim they've seen children hiding in shadowy corners of the hotel. They've heard whispering and giggling, but time and time again, after a thorough search, no one is ever there. Some of the strongest evidence that the Shanley Hotel is haunted comes from an old documentary made by Steve. Don't this just, just going down this hallway just make you, like, yeah, yeah, this place is definitely haunted. Definitely haunted. Even Barcelo, the proprietor of the Cryptozoology and Paranormal Museum in Littleton, North Carolina. In the film, the current owner of the hotel, Sal Nicosia, is interviewed. He tells a story about first moving into the allegedly haunted property. I had a cat for close to 13, 14 years. And when I had lived in the other house, I used to let the cat out at night and the cat would come back during the day. But when we, when I moved into the hotel, the cat refused to go out. And I couldn't get the cat to come into my apartment. For some reason, the cat wouldn't come into that room. Told y'all, told you, get you an animal. You know what I mean? If you can afford it, because animals are expensive. Get you an animal. Them animals be known before we know. And they can't speak, so it's like they're telling you by not telling you by their actions. Him not coming inside and saying, hey, bro, there's some stuff in there. Now, if you choose to stay there, <laughs> that's that's up to you. I ain't going in there. Nope. Mm -mm. Nah, fam. It's in there, bro. Why do you think I'm not going in there? <laughs> like, the cat is telling him. Well, when, we, when I moved into the hotel, the cat refused to go out. And I couldn't get the cat to come into my apartment. For some reason, the cat wouldn't come into that room. And the minute I bring it into the room, she'd take right out the door. So I started feeding her outside in the hallway. That is your sign right there. Cat won't even come inside and willing to eat his food outside your apartment, bro. And she would roam the building. 
Then after a while, she started going up to the third floor. And she would come down to the second floor, she would eat, and she'd go back up to the third floor. Third floor probably where it's safest. Then after a couple of months, she refused to come down off the third floor. And she would stay in Claire's room. And we picked up an EVP one night of Claire saying that it was her cat. Sadly, over time, the cat passed away. Sal grieved for his feline friend but continued running the hotel as normal. Then, in January 2013, Samiri CCTV footage captured on the third floor of the hotel showed something rather unsettling. Spirit of the cat. It's the spirit of the cat. That's the spirit. Watching that again, you can make out what looks to be a cat's tail mm -hmm. moving from right to left. So could this really be the spirit of Sal's deceased cat? Many viewers certainly seem to think it's true. Given the long, tragic history of the property, along with the countless reports of sighted spirits and other paranormal happenings, one has to wonder whether the Shanley Hotel is some kind of beacon for the spiritual world. Perhaps the old hallways are permanently edged with the echoes and energies of its former residents. In December 2021, Jocelyn Calvillo, who goes by the TikTok username KylieXO, was taking a walk at night when she spotted something unnerving at the local park. Take a look. Oh, that's a <laughs> it's weird. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you got you you trying to get your cardio on, you out you doing your cardio, you at the at the park. How get your exercise on and you roll up on that? Um, what? The, what in the world? You know, rolled up on this exercise ghost. The elliptical machine is moving all on its own. It's weird. The fact that it's moving at a pace that's far beyond anything a passing breeze might do has led many viewers to believe that we're witnessing some ghostly activity. And it's not slowing down. Like, I, I don't know, the ghost of Billy Blanks. Uh, is Billy Blanks still alive? I ain't trying to put that on nobody like that. Let me use somebody else. Whoever that that's a, was a workout fiend is running crazy on this machine. However, some TikTok users were skeptical of the length of the clip. If the machine really was moving on its own, then why would you only film for seven seconds? Despite this, a lot of commenters were bummed that it appears you have to exercise even in the afterlife, with one viewer saying it's just Casper working on his summer bod. Because the clip is suspicious and so short, we'll throw this one out to you, the viewers, to decide. Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. That's crazy. TikTok user the Rachel Lindsay was making her way through West Hollywood in November of 2021 when she spotted something truly bizarre floating through the sky. It looks like a bizarre mass of limbs all knotted together. See, this is why I don't want to move to Hollywood. <laughs> Confused by the sighting, the OP suggested it was aliens. She posted the clip to TikTok asking for people's best guesses on what it could be. Naturally, an eclectic range of theories poured in, everything from giant floating spiders to drones, aliens, demons, or even a wayward art display was suggested. See, this is like something you see down in Mardi Gras right now in New Orleans. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they probably looking at this as something. We looking at it like it's strange and crazy. People living in West Hollywood, it's probably a typical day for them. A common suggestion was that it's actually an angel, but not the cute cheruby sort we often picture. A type of angelic being known as the Seraphim are described in various religious texts throughout history. They're far from the bright, inviting angelic figures we so often see in modern depictions. These heavenly beings are described as having six wings, being on fire or burning brightly, and have venomous connotations in ancient Hebrew dialect. Here's a depiction of a Seraphim in the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, Turkey. Many readers of the Bible have interpreted this intense vision of an angel as to why Gabriel said to Mary, do not be afraid. 
And so, while it's highly unlikely this floating art attack seen flying through West Hollywood is an angel, it's interesting how similar they look. Perhaps an artist deliberately created this piece to resemble the seraphim as described in ancient texts. It's, it's floating like it was maybe a balloon or something like that, or some kind of, I don't know, something you see at an auto dealership they may have floating or something. I don't know. What, what could that be? This clip was uploaded to TikTok by user f.paranormali. It's some home security footage that was activated when movement was detected inside the house. Take a look at what was caught. A strange transparent shape drifts through the air. Ooh, it's two of them. There even appears to be a second shape floating through the room. I ain't never been sure myself before, but I'm sure that those were spirits. You see how the way they floated down and they were in units, they were together and it's like one looked over at the other. Those were spirits, bro. Like that's probably one of the best representations of the uh, the best. Like this is probably one of the best videos to see that and identify it. A strange transparent shape drifts through the air. That's crazy. There even appears to be a second shape floating through the room. That's insane. It looks far too large to be a speck of dust and too thick to be a spider's web drifting past the lens of the camera. The uploader believes this could be a ghost caught on camera. Could be. Unfortunately, they don't give any info on where and when this footage was taken, so it's impossible to research the history of the house. One viewer asked the question, why does it seem that cameras can detect spirits but the human eye can't? This is why a lot of people suspect these sort of sightings to be nothing more than dust, cobwebs, or a malfunctioning camera. So where do you sit on these types of sightings? Drop your thoughts down below. Those are, look, look, I paused it at the right time. Look at that. Look at the way it's, it's coming down and floating like, those look like spirits to me, bro. And I'm not confirming or saying they are, any, I'm just saying that's what that looks like to me, though. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> Before we take a look at some haunting dash cam footage, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Drop it, Thing one. It was uploaded to the YouTube channel Paranormal Vision and shows some unnerving dash cam footage captured by a motorist. Watch what happens. Bro, it's like I knew it was coming, but it still messed me up. Holy. That better be a movie clip, bro. The footage clearly shows a person appear out of nowhere and pass straight through the vehicle. That's crazy. The driver said after they slammed their brakes, they got out to see what had happened, but there was no one to be found anywhere. They searched everywhere, but couldn't find a single sign of anyone. Even the front- Are you kidding me? Bro, I don't think I- Could you ever drive a car again after that? You're driving, you having fun, you should probably more fun than you need to be. You shouldn't be driving at those speeds anyway, but it is what it is, he did that. And that happened, and then he jumped out and didn't see any person, anybody. Like, what the? I, for the, I probably, if I drive, it'd be five miles an hour. Y'all would think I'm an older person that shouldn't be on the road. One of their car had no signs of hitting anything. It was as though the person had passed through the car and vanished. That's great. And it's... It's these details that have left many to believe that this is a genuine ghost sighting. Some have speculated that we're seeing the spirit of someone that might have died in an accident along this very stretch of road years prior. 
Does that look like a cardboard cutout? Might have died in an accident along this very stretch of road. I'm just saying because the stance hasn't changed. If you hit somebody or something like that, I would imagine before you hit them, they would kind of move or brace or try to jump or some kind. This thing stood still. Made me think it's like a cardboard cutout, though. Years prior. Oh. Even when it got close to the car, it still didn't change. It didn't cover its eyes because it knew it was too late. It didn't do anything. Following the incident, several locals said that they've seen a person walking around on the road, often late at night. But whenever they slow down to take a look, the person is nowhere to be seen. Hmm. So could this stretch of road really be haunted? Is this footage evidence that someone's spirit is lingering in the area where they may have taken their last breath? Watch the clip again and judge for yourself. I don't know. Now, if you want to watch some more. Because it didn't look like, when you watch it again, it didn't look like it had no impact at the end. Like somebody hit a cardboard or a person. It looked like it just came straight through the car. So now I'm back at square one. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Ah, that's one of them videos you have to analyze, overanalyze, and then analyze some more. That's crazy. Y'all yeah, be safe out here, man. See, I was supposed to be going somewhere later on the night. Now I don't want to drive. See, that's what that's what it make you do. That's what these videos would do to you. Like, ah, right, man, you ain't gonna get me today. Nope. I ain't driving. Nope. Find me a designated driver or it's Uber time, baby. Uber time. <laughs> but uh, y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you think, man. Haunting dash cam footage may show ghosts plus other scary clips. Clips. Couldn't get that word out. Clips. Like that nasty hotel. Like that creepy hotel. All right. It's your boy, man. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe, and stick around and stay tuned, man. Till the next one, I'm gone. Peace.